Hello and welcome to this first opinion veterinary ultrasound case. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. This was a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel who was 10 years old, female entire. She had a history of moderate systolic heart murmur with a point of maximum intensity on the left and it was also audible on the right hand side. So here we have the long axis view of um, the heart. We can see the left ventricle here, uh, the right ventricle here tricuspid valves here, right atrium, left atrium and mitral valves here and we can see the mitral valves appear a bit thickened here. Slightly better um, where we've got a longer left ventricle um, here so this is a better right parasternal long axis view and we can see the mitral valves opening and closing and that they're a bit thickened. So we can apply color flow mapping um, at this angle where we're expecting flow to go from the left atrium to the left ventricle and we're looking for a regurgitation back into the left atrium. It's not the best angle because we're at a right angle to the sound waves and really color flow mapping is looking at any flow towards or away from the probe. So difficult to see a regurgitation on this view. Now rotated the probe slightly so we've still got a right parasternal long axis view but this is a five chamber view so we've still got the left atrium here, the mitral valves opening and closing, left ventricle here and then the right side of the heart up here but we've also got the aortic outflow tract so we've got the aortic valves opening and closing here. And then we're rotating further to get the short axis view so here we're looking um, at the left ventricle in cross section in short axis. And when we tilt up, we can get to the LAAO view where we've got the aorta and the left atrium and the left oracle here. So on a moving image, we can see the aortic valves opening and closing and we can see that left atrium here. We can take a measurement to assess um, how many aortas we can fit into the left atrium and here it is under the 1.6 which would indicate an enlarged left atrium. Again looking at that short axis view of the LAAO. Moving on to the left sided views of the heart. We have the right side of the heart over here with the tricuspid valve there. This is our left atrium with our mitral valves opening and closing and our left ventricle up here. Sometimes the aorta is just popping into view here also. So again we can see the mitral valves are, are a little bit thickened. This is a much better angle to place colour flow mapping on to assess for regurgitation because we would expect normal flow to go from the left atrium into the left ventricle and if there is a regurgitation it will happen here away from the probe so what we expect is to see flow towards the probe so it should be red flow moving into the left ventricle and if we have a regurgitation it will be blue or turbulent flow into the left atrium and that's what we're seeing here we're seeing that regurgitation so the red flow is correct and then we're getting that blue and turbulent flow back into the left atrium so here we've got this regurgitation into the left atrium So in this case, there was a mild regurgitation of the mitral valve, which was also thickened. There was no obvious cardiac remodeling. The left ventricle size and the left atrial size were within normal limits. So we staged this as stage B1 mitral valve degenerative valve disease. And we recommended a recheck of echocardiography in one year's time.